Hello champions, I'm the first Barret player in this game and let's see where should I cap. Would be an interesting idea to cap an Iceland and W in the noob corner. In this isolated place guys and basically prevent another player from taking over Iceland and the British Empire. I mean obviously unless right here we want to go for a fun spot challenge. Capping in Vienna is always usually a good idea. It's the capital which is the hardest to car block and right here I see I've got some more troops. In West Africa, but overall it would be hard for me to take over it. So I guess we only this, guys. At the same time, I prevent another player from capping right here. And I could always still go after Italy, guys. It seems like nobody has a bunch of troops in Italy, so I could take easily over it myself. And then, then if the orange player doesn't cap in Prussia, I could try taking over Germany as well. So the biggest problem for me would be if somebody caps in either Burgundy or in Southeastern Europe. Alright, so the green player caps in a one pawn hold. Iceland, I wonder if somebody capped in Scotland, for example, guys, but maybe nobody did. Right, seven troops received best guys with pink player capped in South Russia. He's not a problem to us. What do we do for ourselves? We could take over Central Europe, guys. Looking right here, Central Europe gives us the most troops. But there also could be a player in Burgundy, guys, so maybe I just simply take over the Narc Helps one. Let's go, let's add my troops right here. Let's take over this one. Right in here is the orange player, guys. That's a little bit unfortunate. But hopefully he won't be a problem with us, guys. Let's send him off his bump. And let's fortify my troops like that, guys. Basically, if the orange player breaks rest, guys, he should know what we would be always able to break through him back, guys. So he would put himself into a big disadvantage. Right, I see blue player is attacking a bunch of territories, guys. Is he going for the British Empire, guys, or something? Okay. The green player adds more troops. Right, yeah, guys, yes, breaks for Ireland, basically. Isn't going to give it for blue. And takes over Iceland. Seven troops received by pink. I mean, interestingly <laughs> enough, right here, yeah, Iceland the British Empire, Scandinavia combines us of one pawn hold noob corner. Yeah, so basically whichever player expands taking over those continents, guys, will have them under one good points. Under one border to guard. Let's see what will the orange player do, guys, as the last player here received extra troops. Let's see if he breaks through us. Well, maybe not. But he'll definitely take over Southeastern Europe, guys. Right, let's see if he properly guards those borders or will he fortify those troops to his cap. Right and cap it is, guys. The question is, what do I I do next and I kind of want to take over Germany guys I think this is what I am going to do let's see if there's a capital no there isn't guys so right here I'll just simply leave your troop split let's take over this one as well guys and I think what I want to do is fortify more troops to my capital six troops received by blue the blue player is without any continent at all and more troops to Scandinavia again will he take over it and I think yes he does I suppose he already have had Trondheim captured or even had it initially guys and let's see if he holds it or not. Right green, the green player considered adding more troops to Estonia Latvia and he switches it again guys, right? Okay, but breaks, breaks for Russia guys. <laughs> Will be a big problem to ping guys, not for me right here. <laughs> me not the moment I was scared that he breaks through Russia and then Hungary at the same time as well. But right here he went through pink and might have even broke through Scandinavia at the same time as well guys, wow. So the green player is taking care of pink and blue guys and right here then it, when it comes to the orange player guys, the orange player receives fewer troops than I do. So technically he shouldn't be that much of a problem. But let's see what about now guys. Will he break through me? Now or what? Will he do? Will it be North Africa is the continent he will be going for next? Right, my bit, my bit guys. That's right. At the very least, guys, he's not in a hurry. He might have wiped out in some bull on car as well. To shrink his borders, but right here, we should be good, guys. We should still dominate the game. 16 troops, and the question is how greedy is too greedy, guys? Because right here, I could take over Italy and France at the same time, but then other players might start attacking me. So maybe I'll just simply take over Italy, guys, and that's it. And because I want that other players would still allow me holding those continents, guys, those bonuses. So right here, let's just simply crush two troops of green player like that, guys. Let's finish taking over other Italian territories too, guys, and let's fortify my troops like that. A troops received by blue, I decided to fortify my troops to Sardinia rather than to Gigi, guys, because who knows, maybe the orange player will eventually go for West Africa, so I do not want to appear like I would give nothing to orange, guys. I want what the orange player would see, what he has expanding possibilities, and wouldn't be that much irritated by me. A troops received by the green player again, guys. 
is probably busy taking over one pomo called there along expanded noob corner so he shouldn't be a problem to us yes so when that sounds guys i do not like the pink player scabble spot because the player who is in the noob corner right here in the british empire iceland and scandinavia guys will always be able to put his troops in roskal after he takes over all of those continents so basically the pink player should never expect holding russia guys based on those blizzards i would say that's a terrible spot for the pink player 11 troops were set by orange guys he didn't expand on another continent he's still weak but right here he might finish taking over north africa at the very least he should guys otherwise the game will be dominated by me if our players never expand our continents themselves or allow me holding so many continents guys and seems the orange player even goes further guys to orient as well the pink player shouldn't appreciate that so then if one freaking troops is the best guys let's rank on our capital okay good game green players as well yes that might be a good game indeed green yes so does that is that saying me guys is what the green player going to attack me in this case should i try wiping out <laughs> green and right here good luck and a laughing emoji sent by the orange pair guys anyways i mean right here means we only telling some things guys but we might not actually do them so right here is still be good guys right let's continue attacking orange right here guys let's take over the salt guys and i mean let's see how it goes guys if we break through me then we break through me right here orange knows what if he breaks through me then i break through so at least in europe and north africa at once so he ends up holding nothing himself but on the other hand he might be able to balance the game out and right here while the green player could break through me at the same time he might not want to waste those troops on me guys but at, because at the same time he also has to deal with blue and might even pink and yes he basically doesn't even add any troops next to me guys he's busy in some other place the pink player is still weak only receives seven troops so yes basically it will be up to orange guys up to orange whether to break from me or not right 14 troops received by him guys will he go slam those troops into me or what will he do he could still expand for example to orient eastern europe or west africa let's see right here doesn't break for me doesn't break for me he is expanding somewhere else so we'll receive a bunch of troops once again and the question is should we attack the orange player by ourselves guys here is my question well 26 troops victory the green player says guys well, no, that's not a victory yet everything can still change but he'll just simply take over spin guys and i leave my troops on this border so to prepare to possibly attacking the orange player next turn not sure honestly yet guys but i'll do but right here just simply leave some troops unleashed for a reason for a reason to be able to break through orange or just simply take over west africa next because i know if i break through orange guys when the orange player breaks through me so it might be even good to allow the orange player holding those bonuses and especially when i receive more troops i turn myself because i do not want that other players would catch me would catch up to me guys and 14 troops received by pink if a pink player has actually managed to take and hold the russian empire wow the good thing though is then <laughs> the green player gets it out from estonia latvia lithuania and those territories right here guys and at the same time west africa basically he would be behind pink and the blue player might be behind pink already guys if he doesn't have any of those territories right here in europe so that is some good fingers orange player strengthens his capital by a little bit all right goes to eastern europe and fortifies those troops back how oh, many troops did he receive again guys 21 troops and i received 31 but good luck with green player says well played again yeah how about if we just simply wipe out the green player from over here guys just small little steps by a time more troops to my capital i guess again maybe i should even put some more troops right here guys now uh, let's go right here all right so let's go after green guys i do not want but he would encourage other players to attack me so let's just simply go right here like that guys and that will be it right here i'm not guarding spin guys but i do not really need to was kind of thinking of breaking for orange guys but then would it be that much beneficial seven troops received by green guys so <laughs> iceland is basically the only bonus he gotten and he might be stuck in it now right so i mean captures one territory guys and that's it 14 troops received by pink yeah so basically i have to deal with pink and orange the pink player trades in that troop set right will he just simply take over eastern europe guys or will he try breaking through me okay no just simply captures one troop territory the orange player trades are not well troop sets i mean maybe the orange player would consider attacking pink himself in that case he would do the dirty work for me but right here i see he's strengthening his own capital right sets more troops right here guys to the loot right 
bumps into my Tvenator army. Right, fortifies back. Hmm. Yes, so the question is, what do I do? I'll add my troops right here, guys. All right. I, how about if I just simply take, guys? How about if I just simply take over this hold? So then if the pink player takes over Eastern Europe, then the orange player might have to break through him. But let's just simply properly guard both my borders, guys, but I'm not breaking through orange. And right here, let's fortify my troops out from Eastern Europe. We'll see how it goes, guys. See, troops received by blue here also trades on a 15 troop set. Let's see, maybe he does some major damage to green. Right, and this turn. The green player still has Iceland, but he's just probably simply stuck in it, guys. Right here, he can still keep capturing territories in the British Empire, especially if the blue player keeps recapturing them too, guys, rather than breaking through pink. But that's basically it. I mean, maybe the pink player wants to make some move. Maybe he wants to wipe out blue from Scandinavia himself and then take care of the green player too, guys. Right, well, do not know what he did, guys, but he captured the territory elsewhere. Right, the orange player strengthens this capital guys what will happen next right one territory in eastern europe it is all right so let's strengthen our capital i guess i'll put my troops like that guys a little bit let's capture one troop territory let's fortify my troops back guys and right here i have to think i have to think guys how do i take the advantage out of orange and pink how do i play them but here we will loop player only received five troops guys so that means what a pink player must have broken for him right Surprisingly, the green player doesn't get carbo, guys, but on the other hand, the blue player might be forced to make him territories to attack if the blue player wants to continue getting cards himself. Now the question is, is it worth for us to break through orange? Usually you shouldn't avoid getting into conflicts, but at the same time, I would like to progress this game somehow. Right, I mean, the orange player right here is doing more rolls or something, guys. Is he, like, tra trying to take over the pink player's capital or something? I mean, if he <laughs> actually does a bunch of damage to pink, guys, then it's huge for us. Right, so well, the turn ends, guys. 14 troops. 40 troops received by us. Let's read an asset. How about if I start building stronger defenses, guys? Let's go like that. Okay, we'll add more troops over here like that, guys. Yes, yeah, so now means the orange player was busy doing some other stuff, guys. He might have even attacked the pink player in some way, guys. So right here, it's better for us to still play passively, but right here, to prefer having those defenses. Basically, right here, we'll have those on their three borders to guard, guys. The half of the capital border. I want to build an army in Prussia, Venice. And then once I break for orange, I'll put another army in a lot. Also, now let's keep being patient and see what happens. Right, it's well, well played. The orange player says, and I wonder what has just happened. It's 13 troops received by the pink player still, guys. Right? Captures one troop territory. And I mean the orange player has already traded an asset, guys. If I broke through his continents and he only has 43 troops on his capital, guys, and if I have a strong defense right here, basically he cannot break through me. He would only be able to break through the Nari Cops. Yes, I'm really considering doing something correct. Oops, he says and breaks through me. Okay, it's even better, guys, honestly. Because right here he won't have the access to break through Venice anymore, guys. Yeah, so basically right here he will still be able to go to live and break through Prussia, so I will just have to make sure that I have enough troops on Prussia, guys. Right, it goes right here and just notices that big army, guys. Right, well, thank you very much, Orange, right here, in fact, you even helped me. Especially when it comes to deciding what to do next. And honestly, let's read on a set, guys. Yes, right here, let's just be safe. We'll put more troops, guys, to this army. And right here, we'll go like that, guys. Let's go 6 to 9 troop army, guys. Alright. Yes, Orange, keep crying. Keep crying over here. Right here, we'll break for you. Over here, like that as well. Alright, and let's fortify my troops. Right here, guys. Let's see what will the Orange player do now. Right here, he says victory, guys. But right here, I remember what those territories of mine are in fog of for other players and while the pink player sees what i'm strong guys and could still decide to do something about me guys when it comes to green and blue very basically blocked behind pink and the green player might even be blocked behind the blue player guys right just one territory test guys for the pink player so just right here guys you should see what the orange player receives seven troops but that might be too late for the pink player to do something guys the green player keeps saying victory guys but that's not much up to green with him being locked let's see will you smash those troops I mean, it will be even helpful, guys. Yeah, it's even helpful, guys, what he's doing with small rolls. So as long as he loses some troops, but not only then... Why does he keep winning those small rolls, guys, all of them? Yeah, because it will be easier.
are for me to eliminate orange guys because let's remember what capitals have a big defender's advantage and while the orange players has so few troops guys i think i'm eliminating him but i mean i'm not sure maybe he still has some troops for example in georgia but if i want to do something guys then it would be the best opportunity now right and i mean he leaves this capital with one troop yeah so basically let's first of all check out over here guys right he gives up but i mean let's eliminate him for the fun anyways i guess I mean, no, guys, 79 troops, guys, I believe I'm here for sure, man. Right, so let's go, that's a free capital for us, guys. Right now, we can go over here, too. And what do we do next? I guess we fortify our troops like, like that. Right, the blue player trades on a 4 to 5 troops out, guys, but what will he even be able to do, guys? It seems nothing. And I assume the pink player must be even guarding, guys. Finland right here, having a larger army over here, and he's not... He won't be really able to do something, guys. And we'll see even if the pink player attacks me himself, guys. I didn't break through pink, but right here is a blue player, guys. Here is a blue player. His 33 troops army won't be enough to do anything. Nice. Yeah, so basically that's our four pawn hole, guys. We had 53 troop army, 90 troop army, 32 troop army capital, and then 79 troop army of the orange player in Georgia. Right here, Poland doesn't connect to Vienna, so technically I could leave my capital with no troops, but at the same time, I would still rather prefer leaving some. Right, well, I mean, <laughs> the pink player didn't have a set, guys. How about if we just simply go explore things over here, guys? Right, I mean, let's, let's spare the pink player for now, guys. But I mean, how many troops does he have on his capital? He might not even have that many, guys. Yeah, basically, we, we should finish the game, guys. Is it worth checking out, guys, or not? Okay, well, that's a strong capital, unfortunately. But let's see right here. He will here's blue, guys. Right, 55 troop capital, guys. Right here, just simply leave things like that. It's even good what the blue player sees right here, guys, but he's alive because the green player is behind him. So it's even beneficial for me to leave a blue player behind. I mean, alive. And let's see, 50 troops received by green if his capital is unleashed. He might be even able to eliminate blue. And nice. Nice. Well played. Right, well, I mean, 87 troop army, the green player will trade in a set. But I mean, he will be locked soon as he doesn't fortify his troops back. Right, well, notice is pink, but the pink player's capital is too strong. Red goes right here, means that's an easy capital if he wants. It might be even worth for him to take over it. Not become blocked, guys. Will he go after orange for guys? He might think it might be the last troops of orange. And misplay in this way. Let's see victory he says, guys. Right here, he keeps splitting those troops. Red, good game, unfortunate. Yeah, just simply fortifies back. Right, but we know right here what he's in Scotland. In Scotland. Right here, we won't be unleashing his cap, right? So let's see what about pink guys. Right, just one troop territory and that's it guys. Right, how about if we actually in tanker blocking green guys. Let's put some more troops right here and right here. Right here, what can we also do guys to swap him out from over here too. And I'll just basically leave my army right here guys. That will be it. So unless he has a set, he cannot get a card. Yes, he's at three cards and he stays at three cards. Right, and the pink player even locks. Even locks his troops, guys. Nice. 50 troops. Let's go right here. Alright, so let's hunt our turn, guys. Let's right just simply strengthen this capital by a little bit. Just in case. Could honestly try her blocking pink at the same time as well, guys. If I want. But basically, to this moment, he's even helping us win. Win this game, guys. Alright, so well, let's put more troops right here, guys. Let's take over this territory. I guess we can just simply wait. We have time. It's even helpful for us, guys, to not even car block pink because the pink player is still letting us hold those bonuses. Anyway, guys, and let's see, maybe he breaks through me now. Okay, will he eliminate orange? No? Okay, well, he's finally, finally attacking me, guys. Yeah, that's a little bit sneaky, but understandable pink. Right here, yeah, basically, I will be forced to try car blocking you now. I wanted to eliminate green first, but right here, you're making me to change my mind, right? Okay, 32 troops, guys. Yeah, so I have to think how can I car block. And guys, I have to put more troops right here. More troops right here. And I guess I'll, fort I'll have to fortify some. Okay, yeah, but yeah, let's just simply continue attacking, guys. I leave some troops, but just a little bit right here. Hopefully he doesn't have a set, guys. 
Okay, let's see if we even crush what army goes right here. That's on 95%. Blitz, let's go. Now let's go over here like that. And finally, let's fortify more troops. More troops over here, guys. All right, was running cattle time, guys. I fortified my whole army. Let's see. Pink, technically, you could still do one rolls on my 11 troop army. Then you could also try breaking through 79 troop army of orange. Or just simply, if you have a set of three cards. Right, and he doesn't lose a troop, guys. Doesn't lose a troop attacking my 11 troop army. Yes, you can see, guys. Rich blitz rolls. Wow. And right here means he can take over the ska if he wants. And if I was him, I would take over it. That's just simply easy to take over it. Plus, he won't be blocked anymore, guys. Right, breaks through friends. Right, right, we do not have a set, guys. Right, smart decision to take over this cap and to fortify some troops like that. Right, but what I'll do, guys, is put more troops over here like this. More troops over here. I'll already take over this two guys. We leave things how we are. Right, here I will fortify more troops. Over here, guys, I do not need to keep leaving so many troops. Yeah, so let's go like that. Next turn, I will take over my capital back. And so pink player will be car blocked. Well, basically. Because he would still have an opportunity and ability to crush 79 troops army of the orange player in Georgia. Right, right here, he locks his army, guys. I'm not sure what was that, guys, but that's really helpful. Right here, let's raid my set. Let's go. We'll put some more troops just to make sure he will be a block, guys. Now let's go over here. Let's leave 26 troops as well. Let's leave 26 troops over here as well. And now let's go ready take everything back. Alright, so that should be 100% blitz. Yes, it is. We lose a little bit more troops. But that doesn't that much matter at all. Alright, and I mean he, he won't have a set, guys. I guess I can fortify my troops right here, guys, in case he goes to blitz that orange player's army. But yeah, I mean, it's all is set and good. Right here, neither green nor pink can get a card. So unless your orange player obviously goes to break right here, guys, but right here, yes. That's a surprise. Army pink, you base your troops for no reason. Or maybe for a reason, because right here, eliminate the orange player. Right here, how many troops? Right, well, I guess six troops more is 100% blitz. So 45 troop army. Yes, good game. Well played. Right, so orange. That's a GG. Now, right here, the pink player even surrenders. Races a white player, guys. Let's go to eliminate him next. It's really good blitz. Let's go, we eliminate him from the game. We trade in another set. Let's put my troops over here, guys. Let's fortify my troops like that, guys. And next turn, and I go to Blitz Orange. And right, I mean, it's green right here. The green player sneakily had a set, guys. Sneakily had a set, apparently. Wow. Yeah, he was waiting for that opportunity to come, guys. But doesn't matter. I think I have more than enough troops. I received 83 of them by holding. This right, the slider Blitz, guys. I should have used the slider Blitz. I lost even 6 troops, guys. Alright. So, okay, well, that's a 0% blitz, guys. So, I'll have to wait. Let's fortify my troops like that, guys. But that's a 0% blitz for the green player, too, guys. So, he cannot go for the cap run. Right, 87 troops. He fortifies both troops of cap. Let's raid my set. 613 troop army, guys. Let's go right here. Okay. The last capital, guys. And that's a GG. That's a GG. We end up dominating the game like that. Novice to experts, beginner.